Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you another project I've got working on with my Civic. It's a CX hatchback, uh, which basically means that it's a stripped down model. Um, nothing fancy, no power door locks, no power windows. Uh, when I got it, it did not have the hatch cover or the cargo cover rather uh, for the hatch area. Um, so what I did is uh, I've Googled a little bit, found a few people on uh, YouTube and just other sites, their own personal sites, who have made their own. So that's what I did. I had a whole bunch of cardboard left over from um, things I got for Christmas, uh, things that me and my wife bought, uh, mattress uh, and uh, a new bed frame and, and such, but had a lot of cardboard left over. So what I did is I took the cardboard. Uh, measured out my cargo area. Um, let me show you. So you can see, I measured out basically from from this point to this point, um, and then measured out a little bit. I took a few pieces of cardboard to make this work. Uh, but I basically just took the cardboard, cut it out. Um, you can see it's all taped together here. Uh, a few different pieces just to get what I needed. Uh, this measurement here, this curve I guess rather, I uh, just kind of eyeballed. I used the piece that I cut this curve out with, laid it here, and it actually made a pretty decent curve that followed the uh, the curve of the hatch uh, right up in here so that when when the hatch closes it uh, it closes down pretty tight um, so now I just need to take this piece go get a piece of uh, wood cut it out and um, cover it with some I'm going to use some headline material uh, I've got to order a bunch of it uh, I've got to do my headliner. It's starting to fall down. There's holes all in it. So um, I'll order that and I'll get back with you in a few days. Okay, back at the cargo cover project for my Civic. Uh, see, I've got the, the wood cut out using my template that I made, this cardboard template. Um, I moved it over just a little bit and I'm going to cut another line. On that line, I just slid it over maybe an eighth an inch or so, quarter inch at most. Uh, probably about an eighth inch. Just because the fabric that I ordered, it's uh, foamed back fabric. It's about three sixteenths thick. So I just want to make sure that I have enough um, gap here in between the cargo cover and the plastic where the, f uh, the fabric wraps around. So I'll cut this out. Um, I've ordered the fabric, it'll be here in a few days, um, but I also went to Home Depot, picked up some half inch dowel, square dowel, uh, to go across the, from, from here to here, in all three spots here. So I'll, uh, they didn't have... 48 inch so they only had 36 inch so I'll just take the 36 inch um, cut it somewhere around the middle um, and just use two pieces to span the gap because it's just over 36 inches it's about 36 and a half 37 inches ish uh, there's a there's a room to play with there so so I'll cut it about 36 and a half and it should be good so let me cut this and uh, I'll pick up after I get it glued, so the next thing you'll probably see is it covered, uh, or me covering it in fabric. Hey guys, just wanted to show you what I did with the cargo cover. Um, just painted the bottom black, just to kind of blend in. Um, I did get some kind of a dark gray headliner material, uh, and just covered it real um, kind of crude-like. But it'll do the job. Uh, it'll kind of blend in with the, the dark gray here. It's kind of hard to see. Um, 
uh, the trim plastic trims uh, dark gray and the headliner material is kind of a light gray I ordered more headliner material to cover that part um, you see I've got the the cardboard from the headliner out already stripped down um, so I'll do that uh, once the material comes in